Hey guys, what's up? How are you guys doing? Um, you probably noticed the video quality is probably a lot better because I'm recording with my T3i. I'm not sure what I'm going to render it as though because I don't want to take forever to upload, but I had to stop making a video for my tech channel, so I figured I'd let it up here anyways. And so like I said in the last vlog, I want to make vlogs actually have some meaning and some purpose. And so in this vlog, I'm going to talk about names and names on the internet that you use for social profiles or YouTube, and especially YouTube. I see a lot whenever I'm in live shows with MKBHD or Austin from Duncan33303. I think that's the right, no, three is three, three. But I see a lot of people saying, you know, suggest me a YouTube channel name or how do I start with YouTube and what should my name be? And it really kind of bothers me because you shouldn't be asking other people what you want to name yourself. And I just got done naming my business and starting my own web design business. And it took me a long time to come up with Remedia Designs. And it actually does mean a lot. And if you're writing an email, re dot dot is your recipient and it's in regards to. So my business for media designs is in regard to media designs and media is video, audio, prints, graphics, web, all kinds of stuff. And so a name should actually have meaning. And for T Game and Tech, I worked the third shift at a factory when I came up with that name and it was third shift and I don't know what time it was, probably like 3 a.m. But I was just sitting there and I probably sat there for a week trying to think of a good channel name and maybe not a week, but a couple days. And I wanted something that actually had meaning. It wasn't like Tyler does tech 15, 79, 1000, 14 pie crust. I don't want another random name like that. Where did pie crust come from? I want a name that actually had meaning. So T, Tyler, game, like video games, N, and tech, technology, T game and tech. Kind of rolls off the tongue, kind of sounds pretty good in my opinion. And I think it works very well. And so I'm really happy with that name. I haven't had any bad feelings about it. And so a name you want to pick has to be good. You have to be happy with it. And after you think you've picked a name, wait a couple days and see if you still like it because um, I've picked names before for certain things and I would next day I'm like, that's such a stupid name. Um, for media designs, I went through a couple things. Um, I think one was Terra, Terra Tech or something, something with Terra or Exeterra, like the like Terra Mega Giga, one of those prefixes or something with something else and then the next day I was like this is stupid it sounds like a dinosaur or something and so I changed it and at th that time of day I actually liked it but the next day I didn't like it and I was like no so make sure you give your name that you pick a little bit a little while to just sink in and just think about it a little bit because it's going to stick with you and you can't just start up a new YouTube channel whenever you want a new name because that's not going to work at all for you people are going to say this person's had 15 YouTube channels because they can't think of a good name and that doesn't look very professional and people are going to notice it and they're not going to watch your videos. Uh, but that goes with any other kind of channel name or internet name. For example, on Twitter, I'm Tyler TGNT, but my display name is Tyler Miller. Uh, my Twitter name is Tyler T Game and Tech, which is TGNT. I don't want to put Tyler T Game and Tech because that's a lot to write out. So I put Tyler TGNT. So I try to make everything I have have meaning and not just random because I feel like people see that and they'll link it together with other stuff and you're getting your brand out there, you're getting your marketing done, and I think it just works well overall. So if you're looking for advice on how to pick a name, make it about you. Don't try to copy what other people do and think about it, and after you think you've picked one, wait a day or two and see if you still like it. And it has to be genuine, it has to be about you. Don't go and say, random name search generator, jungle cowboy tech reviewer. No, that's, that's, Probably somebody has that and they're probably thinking, what? I mean, it has to be from your head. Sit down and write what you like to do on paper. Um, write all kinds of different words. If you're a tech reviewer, write what kind of tech you like to do. Um, your hobbies, what you would use to describe you. Anything like that and you're going to think of, of a name that's 10 times better than any generator could pick. So hopefully you guys like this little vlog. I know it ran a little bit longer probably than I wanted to. I don't know how long this is going to be. But I think it's important to say this kind of stuff and get it out there because people really do struggle with names and stuff on YouTube and on Twitter and all kinds of other social profiles and medias. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and my tech channel, T Game and Tech. And all those important links in the will be in the description below. So thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Oh yeah, and I don't know if these are going to be recorded with my T3i all the time. They might be recorded with my Toshiba Camellio whenever I don't have my T3i set up, but it was convenient because I had it set up for my videos doing my tech channel, and that's why it's been recorded on that. So they might be recorded more on here in the future, don't know. This isn't a bad camera, and it's easier to use and easier to set up whenever I want to do a quick vlog.